close. Gears clicking, wheels not turning, don't know how to fix it? No sweat, we've got a solution for you. Sometimes the source of a problem is obvious, but if you're having trouble figuring out what's wrong, you may benefit from a more systematic approach. Here are a few steps that'll help you get your robot back on track. Let's say we're trying to raise our elevator lift and for some reason it's just not working. First, you want to name the problem and have a rough idea of where it's coming from. The next step is to strip down the system you're trying to fix until it's as simple and likely to work as possible. Let's start with as simple a foundation as possible. We're going to test to see if the motors work and then we can build up from there. First, we isolate each motor from the system to make sure they work on their own. If they do, then we've established a baseline of at least something that works. One quick note, it's a good idea to write down your steps so you don't mess with anything without being able to undo it. Now here's the hard part. We're going to try to make the problem we initially had resurface by building up our system from the baseline we already established. Now we're going to add a degree of complexity to the system and see if it still works. Specifically, we want to test to see if there's a problem with the gear system attached directly to the lift motors. Once again, we want to isolate the system that we're trying to test. This chain connects the motors and the small gears attached to them to the rest of the lift. We're going to detach it in order to test just that motor gear system. Now that we've set it up, let's test it out. Now when we push on the joystick, all that's happening is these motors are turning these gears. As you can see, there doesn't appear to be a problem with this system. Now we can ramp up the complexity even more. We can test whether the first stage of our three-stage lift works. Again, we'll break apart some chains so that the second and third stages of our lift don't activate. It looks like... We'll have to move on to the second stage of the lift to see if that's the problem. It seems the lift doesn't rise all the way up. Finally, we've elicited our original problem. Now that we know it's the second stage of the lift that's jamming, it shouldn't be too hard to fix it. When this actually happened to our team, it turned out there was a screw stuck in the second stage linear slide. Yay, we fixed it! Once we got it out, everything worked perfectly. But it took an annoyingly long time to find the source of the problem. In fact, we never did until we applied a systematic approach. The no-sweat method of troubleshooting.